All right, so um, if you don't have Revit, you'll need to download it. Um, and if you're working in something below 2020, um, you're going to want to upgrade. So go ahead and go to Autodesk Educational Community and click on free software and go to Revit. And at this point, um, it'll ask you to create an account. If you don't have one, it's automatically logged me into my account. So go ahead and do that. You may have to share some documentation or something like that, but go ahead and do that. If you go, once you do that, it'll let you pick your license type and your version. Um, I'm going to be teaching in Revit 2020. Um, so if you have Revit 2020, that'll work. If you have Revit 2021, that will work. Um, because I will have both of those loaded on my machine. But if you have Revit 2019, you're going to want to upgrade to Revit 2020 minimum. Um, and you might as well just go to 2021, you know, so you don't have to skip another upgrade. Um, I typically run two of the latest versions on my machine just, just because it seems to work out that way that people are using the previous and some people are using the new. So I'm just going to pick 2021, pick my operating system, and pick my language of English and then it's going to give me a serial number and down here you have two options you have download now you have install now download now browser download the install now installs it live over your internet connection and it's a very long download like over an hour often and if you have any interruption in your internet then sometimes that can cause some problems with it being able to install not all the time but some of the time so i would recommend using download now or the browser download the difference between the download now and the browser download is um, the autodesk download manager is used for the download now and it is not used for the browser download so the download now will install this download manager um, so you can try the browser download. Um, it's probably the most straightforward one. It will download most of your, the file and then install it. Um, or if that doesn't work, you can use the download now and it will install the Autodesk Download Manager and go ahead and start installing. You can see I have the Autodesk Download Manager and it's now downloading that 15.7 gigabyte file, right? And it's gonna take you know quite some time even on, I have a very fast connection here, so. Anyway, I would stay away from the install now and do the download now or the browser download. Okay. And then once it gets down, it will install. All right. Um, the next thing you're going to want is the Inkscape. Um, just look for Inkscape educational license and here will be an educational license and you'll pretty much do a very similar thing. You'll fill in all of that stuff um, and they will give you a free version of Inkscape um, that you can then load and it will you can check all of these if you want to but the one the installer will find revit on your machine and, and add it to revit because we're going to be using this guy uh, just a warning inscape is pretty heavy duty as is revit so if your uh, video card isn't up for it, it it we may have some issues there but we'll work those out all right so those are the two programs i'd like you to download and get going pretty quickly okay